do you have a theory, Leanne, as to why Rangers are not firing on all cylinders mm. at the moment? I think it's a combination, Rob. I think when you, you go back to last season, you know, one of the, the things that we praised an awful lot about Rangers was the recruitment, you know, and, and um, they were so strong. They had so much depth to the squad. They had players that came in and impacted, you know, from the bench. They had goals from all over the pitch. I think when you look at this season, the players that have come in, Lundstrom, for me, I don't think has done enough. Fashion Sakala hasn't done enough. Simpson hasn't done enough. And in amongst that, you've then lost the likes of Hollander, Ryan Jack and Ryan Kent. So I think there's an accumulation of personnel issues there. The balance isn't quite right. And into the bargain, you've got another season that teams have had an opportunity to, to find a, a game plan to go up against Rangers, to nullify their threats. And on that day when Rangers don't perform, you know, we spoke about it before we came on air and I, you know, me and Neil spoke, you would agree that if Rangers play well in a 4-3-3 system with their best players on the pitch, they should have no concerns about going up against anybody else. But if you have three or four players in amongst that system that don't play well, if you chop and change the personnel, i.e. Wright's in one game, he's back out, Roof's out left, he's back out, Roof's through the middle, Morelis doesn't start, you chop and change your fullback situations. I don't think anybody's performing well enough to chop and change a, a, a team selection as much as Rangers are doing just now. Um, and then amongst that you've got pressure you've got supporters in the grounds you've got an atmosphere that can go from elation to frustration in the matter of seconds at Ibrox I don't think that that, that dressing room just now is, is well equipped enough to deal with all of that collectively and I think you agree don't you Neil with that, that lack of continuity is a big issue this season yeah definitely I just I agree I definitely agree with what uh, Liam was saying there and obviously Speaking, you know, before we came on air, I think definitely Hollander's a huge miss. Obviously, Jack and Kent as well. You know, three very consistent players of last season. Um, and any any club any club's going to struggle to to cope without their th one of the three main influential players as well. Although Rangers have got you know quality depth and quality, and but they're three big players that they, they rely on at times. And you know, it's just not happened for Rangers this season. If it is because you know they've missed few players they've chopped and changed a lot I know Al McGregor's been in and out a lot uh, Stephen Davis been in and out a lot I think Stephen Gerrard's obviously looking after them because of their age but players need games you know you need, you need consistency in, in the team I think Stephen Gerrard needs to get a, a run of maybe five six games where he's playing the same team same formation you know and, and start racking up wins back to back and getting a bit of consistency a bit, a bit of confidence because I think they are lacking confidence especially in the forward areas you know, I was at the game last night, and, and I've watched quite a lot of Rangers. I've been a few, uh, quite a lot of Rangers games this season, and just they're lacking that little bit of quality in in the wider areas and in front of goals. And and the fans have been getting on top of them, and it has been different for them. You know, a lot of the, a lot of players last season, it's easy to play with no fans. It's like a closed door reserve game. There's no pressure. You can you can deliver a cross, and it goes out of play or hits a first man, and no one says nothing. Whereas now the Rangers fans are starting to get annoyed with it they're starting to get irritated and they're letting the players know about it and you know a lot of players can't handle that you know playing for Celtic and Rangers is really really tough especially when things aren't going as well as they should be and this you is know, new at the moment for them because <laughs> be, no, no, because, because of the, the grounds have been empty for yeah, so well, long there's a lot of players in, in both Celtic and Rangers that w won't have experienced playing in front of 50,000 you know that pressure that expen expen the expen sorry I can't even say that expectancy you know it, it's, it's tough you know, and you know when things are going great, yeah, it's fantastic. The fans are superb, and the fans will always get behind the team. But they'll let you know as well when things aren't going well. So, um, you know, it's a mindset. You've got to be strong mentally to play for the.